Hi guys, it's Deli here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at starter homes and these are going to be some of the most downloaded starter homes on the Sims 4 gallery to date. Now, when I was looking at most popular starter homes in the filters on the gallery, I always kind of don't fully trust it that these are the most downloaded, but that's why I'm gonna say there's some of the most downloaded and these are the ones that came up as most popular on my game. So without further ado, let's get into it, get comfy, grab a drink, and let's check out some of these amazing builds. All right, so I've gone ahead and downloaded some starter homes that I found already, and let's start off with a parenthood only starter. This has had a massive 23,000 downloads, and it's by Zimmonstead. Zim instead here and it just says the starter home uses the parenthood pack and base game only enjoy and don't forget to check out my speed builds on youtube and vidme just plays okie dokie well let's try this out and check out what it's all about oh it's so small it's so cute oh my gosh isn't this just adorable now this is a real starter home and i mean we can talk about what constitutes a starter home i think a starter home is any home that you can move your sims into without any money money cheats from the get-go as soon as you open a new save file isn't this sweet so it's got a little patio out the back and like a little garden to get started in gardening is one of my favorite things to do in the sims 4 so i really really i really love that and let's check out this little floor plan look at this little kitchen isn't that sweet so it actually wraps around the corner here which is something i never do and it has lots of cupboards as well it's a beautiful color palette of nice turquoisey greens and like light wood i see they've got the parenthood board here for curfews nice bathroom you've got everything you need in there and you've got microwave as well which is pretty good the parenthood table and rug very nice and two bedrooms so you obviously have a master bedroom which has a dresser and mirror nice curtains it seems very complete you know a lot of starter homes they're kind of too big with not a lot of furniture or they have the basic furniture but absolutely no decor but this is really really good and wait is this actually is this a colorway on one of these items i didn't even know that was a colorway what is this from is this from parenthood oh my gosh i didn't even know that existed <laughs> the things you discover so that, that's a really cute starter home, I like it. The only thing is, is there roof trim on that? Oh, there is. I was like, sometimes I can't see the roof trim and I always wanna just go like this to make it look more finished. But my apologies, there's roof trim on there. Beautiful. Ooh, look at this one, Wayside Starter. So this is by Simi Sweetness. It's had a whopping 56 thousand downloads i think it's a great thumbnail image like it just looks like a home that you want to make yours so i think that's why it's been so successful and um or maybe they're a youtuber as well i'm not sure it's worth sixteen thousand simoleons so it definitely is that starter home air like amount of money i think two bedrooms one bathroom starter home no cc base game stop stealing oh my gosh i feel bad when people steal people's builds it's horrible Ooh, okay, this is really, really nice. How it's got both the stone and like colorful timber and then the contrast of the white roofing and window sills and fencing, really, really sweet. Very, very sweet indeed. And I like how it's got a little back door and, and even like a little rubbish bin has been remembered and a little letterbox over here. It's definitely a home that they've put a lot of thought into and we love that. <laughs> We love a home that's been loved. Okay, so you walk in the front door and let me turn off the grid. Whoa, that is a big box TV. So obviously this is a smaller item that's been sized up using the bracket keys. And if that was in my living room, I feel like it was going to be a robot that would attack me. <laughs> Here's another good idea, sizing up this little frame to be bigger on the wall. It's a good trick if you're trying to save money but fill up a lot of space. You've got your dining table, you've got your glass door to a bathroom. And I always use glass doors in my builds to bathrooms and you guys are like, don't do that. People can see in, but I'm like, it's a Sims, it's fine. It looks good. Maybe it's that type of glass where you press a button and it frosts over so you can't see in. I dream of having glass doors like that in my future home one day. Nice uh, basic bedroom. You're probably gonna want to save up for a few side tables over time and a kid's bedroom with two beds. So 
you know, you're, you're getting a bit in this one and then a, quite a spacious kitchen. So it's definitely a home that you can gradually decorate more and kind of make into your own. But I think the exterior is what makes it really, really pretty. I think it's worth these extra little touches to make it look like a home you want to make your Sims own. Do you get what I mean? Oh, I love this. A goth cottage starter. Ooh, wow. So this is by Luspire, Lus Luspire. And it is 18,000 simoleons, 18,500 to be exact. Two bedrooms, one bathroom. Turn on, move on objects and feel the fairy tale aura on this medieval stone house. Oh, I'm not sure if I have move objects on. Let's go bb.move objects on like that to get the cheat box up you just press Control shift c if you've never used that before and the move objects cheats allows you to intersect different objects and items so sometimes you need to have it turned on in order to fully see how someone's laid out a build because they might have used that cheat obviously to build some of it <gasps> whoa this is stunning how on earth did they did they do this on such a small budget holy dooly okay and it's even got this beautiful pond area over here and i think what where did this come from oh that's from that's from bite bug and look isn't that cute what what did where did this come from that must be another oh that's another like a bite bug item that's so cute i've never seen someone put that in a build before uh this i find a little bit too big i think i prefer like just the normal small size if it's me but i still think it's really creative and who knows maybe originally it was smaller but it's glitched out oh there we go all right well let's check out this build it's a beautiful exterior again if you focus on the exterior it makes the build so good and look at the little veggie patches it makes me want to play animal crossing in the sims oh I love it. I just want to shake that tree and see if anything falls down. And look at this woodwork in progress. Oh, the, the, the level of detail is so nice in this. It really pays off. And I love this chimney at the front. How did they do that? Okay, so they've stacked two chimneys on one another. Yeah, you definitely need a uh, move objects cheat for this one. Anyway, let's have a look inside. So you have this area that looks so realistic it's got letters it's got a parcel on there again that is from uh bite a bug mode if you guys don't know what that is google it but basically it's a cheat that app that allows you to find things in the game and use them in your builds that usually you'd have to come across during gameplay as well as these items which your sims might have to actually build but it definitely feels like a fairy tale and look it's even got a, like a plunger next to the toilet oh this makes me so happy and this detailing just beautiful oh my gosh look at this giant this giant penguin tv i see a pattern here everyone's wanting to use like the size up cheat on tvs because no one can afford the bigger tvs <laughs> I guess this is meant to be some firewood and these are, I think, clay items. Are those the items you make with the clay, the clay blob? I'm not sure. Um, so I don't know if your Sims are just gonna pick those up or what. And this is really, really cute. I think there were meant to be columns there or there were columns there and they've just deleted themselves. But yeah, that looks really, really pretty. And what is this? It's just like a massive bottle of olive oil or something nice little roses and handmade chairs little kitchen oof this is just this is goals look at all of these little items just perfectly stacked on this shelf I mean I've never seen a shelf more beautifully presented in my life <laughs> and then over here we have a kid's bedroom double bedage double bedage I don't think that's English, but anyway, double bedage, might. Um, they've got a double bedage area over here, double bed. A, a tablet's right there too that's been switched on. And I'm really amazed that this comes in under 18,000 simoleons because we're on a big lot, so that's why it's a little bit extra. That is so gorgeous. Like that's gonna be one of the best starter homes I've seen, it's magical. This is a beautiful family starter home by Floral Wallpaper with 28 and a half thousand downloads. Two bedroom, one bathroom starter home. Woohoo! 
So this definitely looks like a real starter home. Really simple, very symmetrical. We've got the bin, that's a good sign. This is definitely a, someone who, who knows how to play The Sims if there's a bin outside. Okay, and then this is just really, really simple, but really, really nice. I love how you walk in the front door to the kitchen island. That is, that is a floor plan of a kitchen that I've never really tried before, but I like it. Nice little dining area over here. This is so beautifully balanced. Penguin TV, not sized up. <laughs> and a couple of couches. Might be a little bit hard to see the TV. I feel like one of the couches should be that way, but I guess it blocks up the corridor, so that's not, not ideal. But I probably would have done it this way, maybe. Uh, that's probably how I would have finished it. Um, yeah, that's what I would have done. And then nice bathroom. Very, very good. Does this have a door going into it? How do you get into this room? Did they just remove the doors because they had gone over budget and they're like, uh, instead of taking a plant out, I'm gonna take the door out. <laughs> There's no, okay, I think that's a mistake, but this is a lovely double bedroom. No lamps, but you will get lit with your plants next to your bed. And then a kid's bedroom over here, which is very, very sweet. Um, I, oh yeah, there's a toy to play with. And then a nice little outdoor patio. These patio areas just remind me with the terrain tool of like The Sims 2 and The Sims 1. Actually, The Sims 1, because those builds used to have a lot of things like gardens like that. But that's a really nice starter home. I'd love to download that and just like make it my own and change up the colors a little bit. I think it's just a really nice little floor plan. Ooh, vampire starter. I like it. 9,700 downloads. They use several packs with this. Three bedroom, two bathroom, and 22,000 small ends. So it's going to be a little bit more because there's three sims in here, but I think it still is a starter home in my mind. A cute vampire starter home, perfect for a family. I love all the hashtags being used. This person knows how to get downloads. Use the move objects on cheat. Oh, this is so good. And trees are really expensive. Wait, what? What is a dry pine tree only one dollar? Are you serious? Oh well, that's that's how they managed to put so many trees in here because these dry ones are really really cheap. But wow, this is lovely. And again, making use of the roofing to make that house look really awesome. This is a lovely design. It's like so nice using vampire windows as well. I want to knock on the door and find out more. Oh, and I like how there's a side door entrance or like a front door entrance here. And there's even like a little cobweb. I'm so into this. <laughs> so you go inside and oh, this house looks like it's one of those starter homes that have barely any furniture in it. And over time, it's your job to fill it up. So we have an entrance room with nothing in it. We have a skill building room with an easel in it. Well, an easel is a fun item for Sims. And then you've got a nice little lounge room, little dining area. I mean, it's even got a fireplace. Fireplaces are pretty expensive. So that's impressive they've put that in there. And kitchen. Uh, I guess because it's a vampire home, they don't really need a fridge or anything. So that's the beauty of vampire homes is you can save money on the food situation because they need to go find some plasma to drink. Bathroom, no shower. So hopefully there's a shower upstairs. Oh yeah, there's a bath upstairs. Oh, so it's got one and a half bathrooms. Love that. Then we've got a kid's bedroom for your little kid vampires. No coffins, but it does have a normal bed, which is an interesting decision. I guess having two coffins might get a little bit pricey. Uh, or maybe they're just leaving it up to you whether you want vampires living here or, or normal Sims, non-occult Sims. And computer right here. How impressive is that? And how did, what? Where'd they find these? How did, I didn't know that was an option. Headphones, oh my gosh, I need to get that out of by debug mode, that's awesome. Okay, so we've got some headphones there as well. That's a pretty sizey house for the price, like you're getting a lot for your buck. I love this one, how it has two bedroom and then the amount that it costs, it like feels like a real real estate game. <laughs> love that. Massive 21,000 downloads. This is more of a modern looking home that is perfect for a desert world, like our only desert world, Oasis Springs. Although you could say Strangerville's a little bit deserty. This is by Gim, Gimme a Lily. Gimme a Jimmy a Lily. Uh, 16,000 Smolians, please do not re upload. Stop stealing and happy simming. Well, let's have a moment here to steal 
people's builds. It's not very nice. <laughs> Okay, this is a really lovely, simple build. I like uh, I like what they've done with the roofing here, like just intersected it. Does it have roof trim? Ooh, oh, nice. Angled roof trim, I get it. I never realized that roof trim was especially for angled roofs, but that looks really nice. Yeah, cute, okay, cool. And I like how there's just like one little little tree what is this a spliced plant so i wonder what you're gonna get on there who knows it's a surprise we love surprises and then nice little garden out the front it's like a faux garden this is really cute i feel like we could put the bin in that little spot in there but i suppose they want the bin delivery guy to be able to reach it you go inside you've got everything you need by the looks of things you go bookshelf big check from me i do think a bookshelf is necessary or a laptop computer little TV not sized up today and everything's very matchy it all goes together nicely everything seems to have a nice little home very minimalist oh my gosh is this a toilet without a door no this is the kitchen that is a small kitchen but you know what that's all you need you don't need anything more that's actually quite a nice little clever size putting in a little room like that uh, then bathroom and then over here is Mm-hmm, very nice. The double bedroom, which technically, can your Sims get into that bed? Wait, let's turn the grid on. I feel like you're gonna need to push it up against a wall. I don't think Sims can get in that way. I don't know, I've never tried to see if Sims can get in. I'm not sure. Um, but they can scoot across the bed, which is good. And then this is just like a single room, nice. I'm confused. Why does this person put everything a little bit out from the wall? See the bed's a little bit out from the wall. This is a little bit out from the wall. Like, why is that? I've never done that before. I don't know if I hate it or if I like it. Comment down below what you think. But yeah, really cute. I like it. I like it a lot. Another little modern number is modern starter 2 by dominica 11302 18500 one bedroom one bathroom and it doesn't use any expansion packs so it's definitely a true starter in that sense coming in under 20k and wow it is yeah it's definitely modern you know what it's cool it is cool what is this is this a trim does this have a trim on it i'm so obsessive about the trims what is wrong with me it needs a trim i need that roof trim oh i can see why they didn't put one probably because of that okay i'll remove i'll remove it but it does have trim down the side in here so that's kind of nice a little little outside sneaky area and this could do with some windows probably but a cashola to be doing that because it's a starter home so that's something to work towards. Let's have a look inside. Ooh, these are invisible lights um, that you can get from by debug mode. A lot of people used to use them before we had the nice down lights that spread a lot of light in the game. Oh my gosh, someone's gonna fall off this and die because there's no railing on it. I mean, spend the $10 to get a railing, please. <laughs> if anyone downloads this house. And this is interesting because they've actually used the other counters. I wonder if they've done that deliberately instead of these counters. So either they've done that deliberately to look more modern or they are not as experienced. I don't even know if that works. I, I, I mean, I'm, I think it looks cool for a modern build, but I don't know if they can use the sink that way. Cause usually, usually the sink would have to go that way, right? Yeah, I don't know if you can use it that way. But in any case, we stand creativity. <laughs> I love this, how the dining table's on an angle and I actually really love this pot plant sized up. Ha ha, Deli said pot plant. I know, in Australia we call them pot plants, not plant pots. And this is very nice, very minimal. Love that, love these little seats. How much are those actually? 140, it's pretty expensive, but worth it because it's good looking. Upstairs is expensive to put in. Um, so that's kind of impressive. And then it's just got a nice big bedroom, nice big bathroom to work on over time. This is really, really nice. So these are sized up items that fit in there really beautifully. Not bad, not bad at all. 
So this one's not really your typical starter home and kind of goes against what I would usually say creates a starter home because, well, number one, it's worth 293,000 smallions, but it's actually a college dorm, which I thought was really creative. And obviously it's a starter home in an essence because it's like your first time living out of home at college. So I was just curious to have a look at it. It's by Olga Navarin and it was made this year pretty recently and it's already had almost 2000 downloads, 10 bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, dorm, college, fraternity, sorority, group, family, sister, all of those good hashtags. Let's see, let's see. I'm excited. Ooh. Now we don't really have, well, we don't have sorority and fraternity houses here in Australia. We do have college dorms though, but there's not many that look like this. Now, first of all, what I would probably have done is link these up. So there's not like a weird gap there, but there might be a reason why they've done that. But yeah, cute. It definitely looks like a very traditional kind of American looking frat or sorority house. So I'm keen to check it out. Oh my gosh, this gets me so keen for hopefully one day having a Sims 4 university. Ooh, so this is where all the students can dine. Damn. This is fancy. What? Library study area. So cute. Look at the massive kitchen. That's enormous. What are you meant to do in all of this space? Good grief. It's huge. Uh, lots of areas to cook. There's even a cupcake machine. I love that. Look at all of this icing down there. And what is this? Is this like a... Oh, okay. So you could use it as like a dining restaurant area. Okay. Oh, okay, so the students are maybe fed and their meals are made. Hmm. Bathrooms down here. Is this the leader of a sorority's room potentially? Because that's a pretty big room and they get an ensuite. Let's see if there's shared rooms. Oh, cool. So you get like a bed each, you get a desk each and a bathroom to share. So some people are lucky enough to have single rooms with their own wardrobes and some Sims would have to share. I really, 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 really want a university pack now. This just got me so excited. We'll just have a little bit of time for a few more. This one looked really, really cute. This has had quite a lot of downloads, almost 12,000. And I don't know, what is this What is this from? Uh, is this from a movie? L Lorca? Oh, I think it's in another language. Anyway, by, well, it's by Lalora. L Lorca? L Lorca. And this is just like an adorable little build. Very, very cute. And again, very cottagey. I love the rounded front little garden. I should do more of those. And this is interesting using indoor wallpaper to achieve that kind of Tudor style wallpaper. Maybe they don't have get together or we're trying to do a base game version of it. Or maybe it was made before that actually came out. But this again is another unique kind of floor plan. It's very realistic for what real houses would have because you walk in and then the kitchen's next to you here. Um, oh, okay, for a second, I thought you couldn't use that bench. It's in starter homes, it's kind of silly having a corner bench sometimes because you can't really use it um, unless I think microwaves work on an angle, but I usually don't have corner benches because they're kind of, you can't use them for anything. And I watch the money so closely that I want everything to be usable, but it does create a nice realistic kitchen with a nice shape. So it's like, whatever, whatever you like. Uh, ooh, these chairs, I just realized clip into that, but that's cute. Nice little dining area. I'm sorry, I'm being really picky in these builds today, aren't I? Like, what did I wake up that's miss builder know-it-all. I mean, geez, nice little red area there, the red room. <laughs> and then uh, this has a lot in it. We've got a bookshelf, we've got an easel, we've got a computer, we've got the double bed, we've got curtains. They're actually filling this up with a lot of necessary items, toy box for your bed, bath shower, full bathroom, full kitchen, and complete with a hat stand. I mean, I think that's pretty good effort for a starter home. All right, you guys, well, I just accidentally spilled my drink, which I tend to do like twice a month. I know it's so stupid. You guys are always freaking out in the comments about, Deli, don't spill your drink. And I do it so often. And then my keyboard goes psycho and I can't play my game anymore f until it dries out. So 
<laughs> I'm going to end this video right here. I'm sorry, but at least we got to spend a little bit of time together. So uh, let me know if you'd like to see more starter homes on the gallery and let me know uh, the ones you saw, which ones you like. Hopefully they have inspired you at least a little bit. I know when I look at other people's builds on the gallery, I feel inspired to build and that's kind of the purpose for why I do these videos is to showcase what other builds people are doing to give myself ideas to give me motivation to build so hopefully you enjoyed it anyway as always I hope you're having a lovely morning or afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world and I'll speak to you soon don't drink around your computer like I do so soon